ready and then go for questions. Okay, uh, I thought it was a great win. We played a really, really good first half. Uh, offensively, we were clicking. Um, I thought we uh, executed all the new stuff that we put in with the pick and roll. I thought it gave them a lot of problems. Ty did a great job of reading the pick and roll, when to score, when to throw the lob. And so uh, he got us off to a great start. I thought um, Davian Bradford and Matthew Marsh played outstanding. Uh, they had 18 points and 10 rebounds between them. I thought they played great D. Um, you know, the big difference with our last game was we had 15 turnovers and they had 32 points off turnovers. Tonight we had five turnovers and only they got four points off turnovers. Uh, I would say that was a, would be a big uh, a big thing why we won. Um, obviously, Ty Appleby uh, had an incredible night. Uh, he's an incredible competitor. The one time I took him out, they went on a 6-0 run. I had to call a timeout just to get him back in. Um, you know, 35 points, 11 assists, only one turnover. As much as he handles the ball, that's an incredible night against, a, uh, you know, an outstanding uh, basketball team. You know, um, he drew 16 fouls, and uh, I think he set ACC record tonight with 23 made free throws in 28 attempts. If he makes five of those, the rest of them, he gets 40. That's what I told him. Um you know, I didn't think our shot selection was great going down the stretch, uh, but we were open. You make those, you blow the doors open. You know, we did it. And I thought we just might have went a little too quick sometimes. But I thought, you know, hey, listen, don't take, you know, don't underestimate how hard it is, how good a job they did getting the ball in every time they pressed us and, and to the right guy and to make free throws. And so, um, you know, credit to them. I saw them, Carolina play uh virginia tech when Ama when mondo was out and they, they played that way fast athletic they were tough they almost came back and won the game and so um i knew they were capable you know love made some tough shots uh, rj davis is whew, he's a handful you know um still mondo got 17 11 and you know fouled out but we led the game for 37 minutes and that's a credit to my team questions Coach, the start tonight was kind of the polar opposite of the Notre Dame game. Yeah. How big was it to turn that corner to give yeah. you guys a little bit of a cushion in the second half and things got rough a little bit? Yeah, it was, it was, it, that's how you want to start, you know, every game, especially at home. And I don't want, to, I don't want to see a picture on Twitter where the scoreboard says 16 and we got four, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I wish I knew somebody asked me that question last night at my radio show about, you know, well, why does that happen? I, I don't, I mean, if I had this answer to all that, I'd probably, I don't know what I'd be making, but you know, it's, it's um, just a credit to the players. And here's the thing it's, it's resiliency and it's confidence. When you go through a rough patch in basketball, you still, they, they kept their confidence, the resiliency. And I told them you could switch it. Okay. So we did, you know, last couple of games. Now we still got a lot left on the table, but um, they didn't panic. They didn't get down. They kept fighting. Guys, we lost three games by two points. It's a tough league, man. And so uh, we'll see where we go from here. You know, Georgia Tech's next. But, you know, look at in Carolina. Look what they did. They came in here last year and got beat. Look where they went. National championship. So it ain't over for any of us. Steve, I know when they're pressing in the last 10 or 15 minutes, you want to slow things down. Yeah. But Got to add part of the problem there is Tyrese getting to the free throw line before he's really getting picked up. Yeah, you know, we were running Connor. There was there's a fine line. Like, okay, Andrew took a wide open three. Damari took a wide open three. Bobby's went in there and tried to dunk it. You know, yeah, Ty probably Ty probably pressed the issue a little too quick. It's more about when you go, right? And I, I thought, I don't know, I have to go back and look, but there was a stretch in there. I just thought we went too fast. You know, um, and then we've kind of stopped getting stops there for a while. I think, I don't know, they might have scored eight or nine possessions at one point, but it's two by two. Really, the threes they made at the guts of the game, they didn't make them, you know. And so um, I just, I never felt like we were, we were going to lose the game, but, you know, it was just a matter of how we were going to finish. And, uh, but credit to Ty. Ask you the library. I mean, yesterday you talked about how good of a point guard Ty is. Tonight, as good as it gets, as, as far as an individual performance, yeah. for sure. Because Fred didn't score like that. AC did, but AC was the Koozie Award winner. You know, um, AC Law, I'm talking about from AM. But I didn't coach AC his senior year. 
I went to Tennessee the year he won it. So I wasn't there when he – I seen him do some – make some incredible late second plays. But as far as an individual performance in my memory bank for a point guard, the best, especially against an opponent like that with those kind of players, tremendous. Steve, what were we seeing a little bit different from the pick and roll? It seemed like Todd was um, really putting the USC defenders in tough positions. Yeah, we call that putting we call that putting them in jail. And so he's um they're in the drop, so he comes off the drop. Uh, he, he puts that that big in jail. He puts he puts him on his hip, and then he can he gets the guy behind him, the 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 defender behind him. And then he makes a decision uh, on the big, you know, and who, who's there? Well, he, they come up, then he throws a lob. If they don't come up, he shoots the floater or he gets to the rim. Then they started to switch. And so then he can drive them, you know. But we didn't do great on that at times. I didn't think. Um, just didn't make good decisions sometimes. But it basically him and Cam, the majority of the guys that, that put them the ball screens, he just put them in jail and made a tough decision. That's what we call it. It's not putting them in jail, but um, he, he's just really good at it. Coach, how big is it for Matthew Marsh and Davion Bradford to be on both ends of the floor relatively dominant for your team? I mean, not allowing Armando Baycott to take over the game on defense and not defense. I, 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 it was probably one of the biggest parts of the game, fellas. Now, they spanked us on the glass, golly, late. But, um, you know, DB's got a big, strong chest. And watching the game last time, I thought he did a pretty good job of guarding him. So that's why we went with him. Uh, we put in some stuff uh, last couple of days to kind of get it in there so we could put some pressure on Amando to have to defend. And I thought we executed those flawlessly. And then Matt, you know, Matt's, you know, they're different. You know, DB's a, a big, strong defender who can get uh score around a basket. Matt's a guy that's pretty nimble and can catch lobs, you know. And so we used them both. I don't know if we went small. I guess we went, yeah, we went small when Baker was out of the game. But, um, man, 18 and 10, take that every time. Steve, how important are you willing to say a game like tonight is when it comes to the confidence of your team, needing a team that probably is going to be in the field? Yeah. And also, obviously, needing quality wins yourself. No question. Uh, we talked about it before the game. Last thing I said, it's February, right? It's uh, opportunity, and it's time to separate. From the pack, you know, there's got to be some sep – it's hard. Everybody's kind of jumbled up. I don't even know where we're at. I couldn't tell you because I don't look. I know what we – how many games we've won and lost. But, um, yes, it's very important to to uh, win all your games now, but especially at home and especially against a quality opponent like Carolina, you know. And so um, I, I talked about that with the team. I, that was the last thing I said before we went out. It kind of went code from behind the arc in the second. Yeah. Result something different. No. Uh, I think we missed. I have to go back and look. I mean, we probably rushed some. Ty probably probably shot a couple. Tamari shot a couple. weren't in rhythm. But then again, I can remember three or four of them. We we're just wide open. We just didn't make them. Um, nah. The, the only thing they switched the ball screen, which you know that maybe got them out on the shooters a little bit more. I just didn't think we took quality, and when we had quality, we didn't make them. Oh, it's over. Yeah, we blow the house over, you know, like Damari did last year when he made three in a row and three straight possessions. Of course, he weighed about 30 pounds more than he weighs tonight. But, uh, but you know, yeah, you know, you want those to go in, but they didn't. And credit to Carolina, they kept fighting. The decision to start DB, is that based on practice or is that based solely on you wanted to not get Baycott going? Defense, we thought we really thought he was the best option to start to not have to monster the post. I didn't want to double, and uh, we didn't. We played him one on one, and I thought he we thought as a staff he was the best option. Uh, and I think he proved that to be that he did a really good job of holding his position and, and making him score over score over his body. You even got him back in there in the second half, he had two fouls. yeah, 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 yeah. That level. Yeah, I think we got to. I mean, you're talking the first half? Yeah. Yeah, I play guys like that, though. You know me. I, you know, I see guys just put do that, and then they're laying over there at halftime with 2,000, and you're, you're, you're behind. 
I, I just – I very rarely have seen a guy get three fouls. I mean, it happens, but um, I think more often than not, it doesn't. And so I'm not afraid. We're not – we'll do that. We've done it all year. We've done it since I've been here. So um, credit to him, too, for not getting one. Coach, I know this is something, you know, we've discussed before, but Bobby Clipman, 22 yeah. minutes tonight, um, you know, he hasn't missed a three-point shot in three games. Oh, there you go. Uh, five of five over three games um but just the impact of him also for rebounds yeah having him as a freshman be yeah bobby's gonna be an outstanding player he's play. he's got more and more confidence i think you can see that in him um just by his body language and how he plays his activity um great rebounder um can guard guards can guard bigs shot that first three like it, all right my shot boom going in that's the way he's been shooting it for a month now in practice so i hope for him to continue to get better and better. And he's playing with uh, a lot of confidence and we need him. We need him. Our bench was, pre, you know, pretty productive tonight. You know, they got, uh, I don't know, 21 points. We'll take that. Coach, you talked about Ty's positivity in the huddle last game and things weren't going well. Down the stretch when there was a bunch of stoppages in the last two minutes, was that more the same from him? Yeah, I mean, all of them really. I mean, you just want to finish the game and finish it the right way, you know. Um, like I said, I never felt like we we're in danger of losing the thing. It was just, can we finish it the right way? And, um, you know, the fans, I'm sure they wanted to, to be excited. You know, I wanted them to be excited, but it's 92 to 85. We're going to take it and, uh, and, and, uh, be happy tonight and, and, and move on. Anything else? All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Okay. All right, boy. Thank you. See you, boys. You really want to know what you're, what you are in the ACC. Yeah, what are we?